This is, a, this is a tricky one and I get this a lot. What do I do if I'm in a remote location, I don't have any bandage and I'm bitten by a snake? Initially, I'd like to wind that back and say, why would you allow yourself to be in that type of situation? Why wouldn't you do the risk management before you leave? Because look, there's a lot of things when you get in a remote area that can bring you undone. So just carrying a first aid kit would be uh, an absolute no-brainer. But let's say you are caught in an isolated area, uh, you've got nothing other than what I'm wearing now, and you're bitten by a snake. My advice was, would be to sit down or lay down, put your phone on speaker, and call the emergency services and get them to your location. To try and attempt a bandage or to fashion a bandage out of the clothing I've got on now, the effort probably doesn't justify by the outcome. I'd, I'd most likely break into a sweat, I'd be moving, I'd be wrestling with my own, my own body, and that's just gonna move the venom faster. And there's every chance I'm gonna lose consciousness before I even get anywhere near some sort of compression. If you do have a bandage, of course, put the thing on, lay down or sit down and call the emergency services. These days it's easy to have some form of communication, whether it be an app on your phone, uh, an EPIRB, a UHF radio, something that enables you to get some GPS coordinates out to your family, to emergency services, so they can pinpoint your location. And remember, if you're bitten by a snake, time is your enemy. So how you manage that time is very important. When you're doing your own risk assessment to, to go into a remote area, that's what you need to think about. So what if? What if I get bitten by a snake? What if I break my leg? How am I going to respond to that? Once you ask those questions, the answers start presenting themselves and you will be unlikely to ever find yourself in a situation uh, where you've got nothing.